as well. Damn it! Walt must not be able to see me, because he was doing this earlier. What the? Ah, uh, there's Rune. Good. Found him. Okay, so we are going to go into the game. I'm just going to quickly set up all of the overlay. And very quickly, make sure I go back to the actual game screen. I pressed the wrong button. What is going on here? There we go. We will go into the game. And spawning in the top left, we do have the yellow Zerg. Uh, drone actually playing Zerg this time. A liquid drone. And in the bottom left, we do have RM Stewalt, the Brown Protoss. Okay, so let's just quickly set up the overlay. So we do have the wall in the 7 o'clock position and a drone in the 10 o'clock position. So it will be brown versus yellow. A brown versus yellow seems to be like a very common observing colour scheme. I'm not sure if I really like it or not, but I didn't actually reset the score. So, according to this, we actually have the wrong thing, so I just need to set the colours again. Sorry guys. Bit of a finicky UI sometimes, but here we go. So we do have drone once, oh sorry, this actually DeWalt this time building his Building his pylon in his main uh, could lead to some very early aggression, some early shenanigans, you might say. Uh, this is, of course, the first game of the grand finals of Clash of Char 9. A drone fighting his way through the brackets, same with DeWalt, making their way here with some pretty impressive semi-final performances. DeWalt coming back from losing the second game. I, I still do not understand how he managed to come back from that game against Quantel, but please do go and check out the VODs if you did miss it. They will go up on my YouTube, uh, uh, youtube.com slash kicksc. Uh, they'll go up at the end, so or not at the end, maybe a little bit later tonight. But it should be worth watching the game. And uh, of course, do the same with the other games if you want to, if you've missed them. There is a two minute delay, uh, so there is no accusations of stream cheating going on. Of course, it's meant that I haven't been able to interact with the viewers so much, but it's still fun. We are on the right screen on the stream, which is good as well, so we're all good. We see the core coming up, so one gate into core in a PVC. I'm wondering if DeWalt assumes the drone is Protoss. I'm hoping he does know that he's Zerg, because one, one gate core is a very, very PvP looking build. Now there are some weird Dragoon all ins you can do, or he could just be going for like really fast Corsair VT, but still, uh, it would be quite interesting if DeWalt didn't pay any attention to what rank Drone is. And uh, we do see the spawning pool coming up with the second base, so nothing too crazy on Drone's end. Interestingly, DeWalt still does not know he's, his opponent is Protoss, he does know now. now I've I wonder if DeWalt did actually realise that Drone changed race or not, like, I guess he must have done, but he's adding his third pylon. It is very possible that my camera really weirdly scrolled. Okay, but looks like we're all good so far. Uh, we see the drone is going to pull back. Now, the first probe is going to get into the base, there's no links at the moment to actually defend against this. Now, this game will show which one of Drone's races is actually his better one? He does main random. Now, he is called Liquid Drone, so you would think that Zerg is his best race, but his Protoss is pretty damn good, as we just saw. So, what is going to happen? It looks like Drone is actually going to do 3 hatch onto base. Now, he does know, by scouting, there is only one base for the Protoss, who is, in fact, going for one base Reaver. Now, the Slurm, if you're watching, Uh, okay, so he did pick Zerg.
Okay, so we do see a sunken colony coming up. Now, Drone is going to know that there's no second base. I don't think he's actually gone back to scout. It looks like this Overlord is going to stop here over this, like, pool of water. Uh, just to give him a place to run away to if needs be. Now, Slurm, if you're watching, please do not do your one base Reaver dance. Because that could be a little bit awkward. We see, uh... We see an Overlord actually coming in. There's actually some really early Dragoons here, at least one. Are these uh, are these things actually about to break up? I don't think they are. They're going to need to fall back before they all die. And, uh, yeah, I mean, once again, we do see the one base aggression coming up. Now, the good thing for Drone is he's going to scout that there is a Robo. Does he see it? No, he doesn't. He doesn't see the Robo. This is such a huge... Huge miss scout, but he does see the support bay. It's fine. He sees the support bay. Drone knows what's going on. Now, how is he going to defend? He only really has Lings on the map at the moment. His Hydralisk Den has finished. He's now starting to get a few extra Hydralisks. But the one... Now, one thing uh, one thing to note is that Shuttle actually moved out of the way of Drone's Overlord. So, I think he wanted to hide it. And yeah, we just see some crazy stuff. I was just trying to read what was going on in chat. Apparently someone's asking Sale if he's casting. And, uh, I mean, he's not here, so I would guess not. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the Grand Finals, of course, Sale. So you've just tuned in at the perfect time. Uh, drone has beaten his way through to face the wall. We do see the shuttle is now moving out. The first Reaver should be in there as well. What is Drone's defense looking like? He does have the two Sunkens. This is going to make it very hard for the Reaver to drop. Actually using... Wow, really nice targeting. A huge Scarab, though, does take out four drones. And these uh, these Zealots are actually going to be able to take down, uh, take down the Sunken as well. Zealots are really powerful, but the drone looks like he's trying to go in against the, uh, against the, uh, against the Zealots, even. Try and take down this Shuttle. Shuttle escapes with barely any life left. Uh, so, good attack there by DeWalt, does find himself 20 supply ahead. Of course, that isn't too much in a PBZ, but he does now have three gateways. He is still, of course, on one base. Uh, doesn't look like he'll be expanding anytime soon. Looking to close this first game in the Grand Finals with a very aggressive three-gate play on one base with Reaver. Now, what's the defense looking like in the main? It's almost non-existent. Three Hydralis pop out at the perfect time, though. Hyd uh, speed is done for the shuttle. Looks like the Reaver's actually been dropped out just to be safe, but no. Drone does not take the bait, and he is going to fall back. Uh, the shuttle is so close to death, though. He needs to be incredibly careful with this. If he loses the shuttle, it could completely change the outcome of this game. Now, another shuttle has been finished. Two shuttles on this map right now. One coming in from the north. One coming... Oh my god. The burrow. The burrow. No way. Oh my god. He gets the reaver. What a burrow. But there's no defense down here. There's only one cell at being trapped though. There's no reaver. But look at this. Just burrowing. Drone always says burrow is a good skill to have. Good upgrade to get. And that is why... You can defend yourself against Reaver and Zealot drops. Another shuttle is in fact going back out. I'm not sure what units it's got in it. I can only imagine he's got another Reaver. Uh, but he's going to have to be very careful. He cannot take anything for granted anymore. He knows that Drone has Burrow. But he's going to have to be going for an Observatory. He actually has it now. So this forces Observers for him to even be able to do any damage. But it's going to be so hard... To get the observers into the base, look at the drone. Uh, look at the actual vision of drone. We'll actually turn off DeWalt's, uh, DeWalt's uh, vision. Actually, he has an overlord in every position, but here, so any angle for the observer will be cut off by the hydralisks. It uh, looks like the hydralisks are actually trying to chase down the shuttle, but I'm not even sure it went. Uh, I actually went back down here, so it's gone back with the army. This uh, this moment here is when drone. Uh, sorry, DeWalt. Realizes he needs to do a little bit of damage. Drone, of course, is only on two base. He only actually has one sunken. So this could be quite bad. Is the vision of Drone going to pick up this move out from the army of DeWalt? I'm not sure it will. And this could be very big. Oh! He actually shows himself to the Ling. So that I'm not sure I really agree with that, but I guess it'll work out. There's just not enough defense back at home anyway. The shuttle... 
Where's the shuttle? The shuttle's here as well. And this is going to help him against the Hydralisks. The Hydralisks trying to move around to get to the high ground. But two Reavers here. He's going to be able to push in. Is it going to be able to do a lot of damage? He's going to be able to take at least out one of the hatcheries. He drops the Reavers further in. A surround does come in from the back with the Hydralisks. Some in the front as well. It's just Dragoons versus Hydras. The two Reavers, of course, as well. And some very nice Scarabs go down. Two kills on that Reaver. 15 on the other Reaver right now. But Drone is slowly pushing his way forward. The Dragoon's actually walling out the Scarabs a little bit. Needs to be careful of that. The Zealots are down. But this all-in is still happening. Uh, still no second base coming up for our uh, Protoss hero. And Drone is forced to GG. Very, very well played by DeWalt there, of course. Drone trying to be clever with his burrow tricks. Didn't quite work out in the end. Didn't have enough defense to fend off uh, DeWalt's aggression a little bit early on. So that will actually move us on to the second map, which I will just bring up the map overlay just so you guys can see exactly what's going on with the maps uh, just while we jump into this next game. Okay, so we are now sitting in the, the uh, in the area, or in the game lobby, for the second game in this series. It looks like Drone hasn't quite caught in. Uh, I'm just going to go and get Drone, actually. Let's go and make sure Drone knows where to go. Okay, so we found Drone, he was actually asking what the map is. Uh, I, th I think he knew what the map was, but he wasn't sure who was hosting. So hopefully he's going to pop in in just a second. Now we have both players in the lobby. Let's bring up the right screen just to make sure I don't actually miss the start of the game. Uh, drone will pick Zerg again, so it looks like Drone is ready. Is the Walt ready? We are about to find out. As we move into this second game of this series. Okay, so in the bottom left position, the 7 o'clock position, we do have the Purple Zerg, who is down 1-0 in this series, Liquid Drone, aka Eriador. Uh, and in the top right, we do have in the 2 o'clock position, uh, leader of the series in this grand final, this is of course the second game, it is RM Stilwalt, the Teal Protoss. Let's just make sure that we set up the positions and the colors, and then we should be good to go. So it is. Yo. This is purple. Now, of course, we did see a relatively aggressive game coming out of DeWalt before. Uh, DeWalt did go for one base, and it looks like he may be going for one base again. He did do this on. Um, on his games versus Quantel, he actually went one base, two gate, if I remember correctly. But he also built three cannons because he didn't find the uh, hidden base that Quantel did make. Uh, that was certainly a very interesting series to cast, so do go and check that out if you did miss that. It will go up on my YouTube either later today or tomorrow. 
so I'll post it in the thread when it's done on TL. Uh, but let's see how Drone is going to adapt his playstyle to actually deal with the aggression that came out of DeWalt last game. Of course, he's going to need to make sure he scouts. This is a two-player map. So unlike before, where there was four spawns and four possible locations for, or three possible locations for his opponent to be, this is a two-player map, and two-player maps often lend themselves to cheese. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying crazy map, but it's not that crazy, realistically. Uh, you have a back way into this, uh, this bottom right base down here, and that gives you the sort of three base which you can defend with these two chokes. We can move up and take this, and then take this as your third, but this, this does have gas as well too, so... It's not overly crazy, uh, not insane, it's certainly not the most normal, but a lot of people are saying it's the best map in the pool, so I think a lot of people aren't very happy with the 2008 OSL maps, but you know what? This is from 2008 as well. This is the Inkra OSL map, so pretty good. Uh, nice to have some classic maps in the pool this week. I have done a PD Pop MSL one, which was 2010, that had Athena, Odd Eye and Dante's Peak in that week, that was fun. Uh, we had a lot of good games that week, me and Sale, to cast. We see the probe scouting around, doing what it can, uh, trying to see if there's anything cheeky going on. It doesn't look like there will be this early in the game. Uh, Drone will, of course, uh, go up to his spawning pool now. It's going to be how he differs his build from before. Before he did go three hatch Hydra, uh, with actually having the third hatch in his second base. Now this Overlord is actually going to scout the one gate. Is DeWalt going to do the same build again? Uh, that is the question on everybody's minds right now, I can only imagine. We actually see the lair going up at the natural. Now, this isn't a, uh, this isn't to hide this from the probe. The probe is going to see this anyway. But as you can see, the probe's actually going to go down and see that morphing. But what it does do is it gives his... Uh, natural hatchery a little bit extra life to help defend against any early aggression that he does know is coming now we see a pylon and a stargate so not quite the same build he is going one base corsair is he going to go dt as well i can only imagine that will be his choice but of course dewalt is the one who is making all of the decisions here he has the information advantage right now, and it looks like Drone tried, actually does a really good job catching that probe. The probe does not get away, which will block any further scouting from the Protoss player for the time being until the first Corsair is out. Now, some uh, links actually go up to the ramp to see what's up there. Uh, by checking this, he can actually check how many gateways there are, which, of course, right now, as we know, there is only one gate. So, I mean, it, with enough links, he could actually break up here. It looks like he's trying to do that, as a matter of fact. There's only one Zealot, but he's going to have to be careful now. There is two. No, that's enough. That is enough for him to turn around and go, I do not want to go into this. But look, two hatch muter from drone against Corsairs. This could be a very, very interesting game. I mean, he may not go for two hatch muter here. Muters are very powerful on this map, but it could just be for the Scourge to deal with any Corsairs that will be coming his way, which is uh, which he has already scouted. So, there we go. I mean, Drone is just playing, I'd like to say relatively standard, but he is only on two base. It looks like he has added more links to try and be a little bit aggressive. There is three Zealots and a Dragoon at the ramp, which will block any scouting at all. The second Corsair is out. The Overlord in the middle map is dead. Uh, the Overlord in his main may actually be able to kill another two another two Overlords, actually. There's no anti-air whatsoever from Drone right now. He's stuck on two base. He cannot afford to lose these Overlords. He's trying to hide one in the bottom right, but with another Overlord going down, the Spire just about finishing up. I can only imagine Drone is going to have to add on some Scourge, but he may find himself supply blocked very shortly. He has very few Overlords. He has started the units, thankfully, and I only imagine he started a few overlords in here as well. But once again, poking at the front with the Lings. The Lings are uh, not actually taking too much damage, so that's fine. But this is going to trigger DeWalt to actually move out and try and take his second base. Now, is it going to be for Mutalisks? Yes, it is. It's two Hatch Muta, guys. Two Hatch Muta against a Protoss player going for Corsairs. Drone has played a lot of this game. The, uh, the Corsairs are, or the Scourge are actually up here. There's no cannons. There's no anti-air other than the Corsairs. If the Scourge can connect, 
which I believe they must have done actually because oh no there's four Corsairs back here there's one cannon in the mineral line is it going to be enough four, five Corsairs are enough to one shot Scourge so this is going to be very difficult for him to pull off but he will uh, he will actually lock the wall onto one base of course the Corsair count the ever growing Corsair count with plus one will be enough to hold this off with uh, if the Mulists stay stacked, the Mulists are going to have to fall back. The moving shot, is it good? Can he do it? It looks like he's going to send some scourging. Can it connect? No, it can't. DeWalt with some really good micro does pull back at the right time. It is actually supply block though, losing a pylon to the Mulists. And this is going to allow drone, as you can see here in the bottom left of your screens, to go and send a drone and take that all-important third base giving him even more of an advantage. Oh my god, the Scourge actually uh, Scourge actually connect on the Corsairs, only four Corsairs remain, but these Mulists do such little damage to the Corsairs, three Corsairs remain, but all of the Mulists heavily damaged. Very, very unfortunate for Drone, but this is what can happen when you're going for, oh my god, the Scourge though, the Scourge do take out the uh, high health Corsair there, getting another one. Very, very unfortunate for Drone. Um, there we go, so I just needed to quickly cough. As I said before, I'm catching sales flu because that's what happens. You talk to people online and then you get their colds. Uh, we do see the Corsair count has been reset. There is one Scourge. This one Corsair is not going to be enough. Some cannons are trying to go up at the front, but it's just... Three Mutalists are in, four Mutalists even, are enough to take down all of the cannons and the Dragoon. Now the problem is, DeWalt losing his Corsairs like that is going to have a lot of trouble taking another base. Uh, looks like a uh, drone is actually scouting around with a Scourge as well, just to make sure there's no Corsairs trying to run past, and he is actually going to try and take out this pylon. No, he isn't. He's going to fly around, try and find another opening. Oh, I like he is. He just really doesn't like this one pylon in particular. This is, I, I mean, this is a, if you guys don't know, this is a very strong map for Mutalisks. The win rate of ZBT on this map is insanely skewed towards Zerg because of Proto, uh, because of Two Hatch Muter. This is the Two Hatch Muter map. If there's one in the game where you can go Two Hatch Muter, it's definitely this one. One Zeller does scout this third hatchery, and that's going to be pretty good for him. A DT actually on the map, how much detection does Drone actually have? He does have the two Overlords at the front with the Sunken. Is that going to be enough? The DTs, of course, can actually scout for the uh, Mutalisks as well. So that'll be quite useful. Two gateways are now out for DeWalt, who is once again trying to take this natural base. Pulling his uh, Corsairs back over the cannons because he can't actually deal with the Scourge. And this pylon, once again, Drone does not like a pylon being here. He's like, no, this is my spot on the map. You do not build pylons. But these Corsairs, there's four of them again. And this should actually be enough to push back this this 11 Mulist count. That's how good Corsairs with plus one are. Do we see any upgrades? One Carapace is done, which will nullify the plus one attack of the Corsairs. But look at this. Really good, uh, really good moving shot by DeWalt. It's actually going to do a lot of damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough. The Mulist actually splitting. It is. Three Corsairs take out... Oh, at least four Corsairs even. Take out about nine Mulists there. Three remain. Uh, DeWalt, I believe, is Polish. Although he might be, uh, he might be Russian. I'll let the... Yeah, he's from Russia, sorry. I always get... There's so many, like, Eastern European players. I can never remember who's from where. Oh, wow. The one seller. The one seller has actually taken out the third base of Drone. How unfortunate. Didn't want to send his Mulists back to defend. Actually loses his third base. Now, DeWalt has been in this situation before. He's been down. He's been behind on this map. A drone, of course, is not as far ahead as Quasar was. Uh, Quasar is probably not the way you say his name. I've completely forgotten how to say it. Quaker, maybe? I need a better firewall. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, we do see the Lings are actually trying to move in to do some damage. The Corsairs chasing away the Mulists once again. Three Corsairs, four Corsairs now against just the six Mulists. And Drone is finding himself a very, in a very, very difficult situation. He's still only on five Drones on Minerals at his natural. He is saturated as main. 
Uh, so that's pretty good for him, but once again, the Scourge and Mutalisk, two hatch Muta guys, is of course a semi all in. Like, you can transition out of it, but it does become more and more dangerous the more that goes on. It looks like he's actually going to suicide his Scourge to try and get some of these Corsairs. Is it going to be enough to. Oh no, the Mutas are actually going to sit on top of the Corsairs. Are they going to be able to do enough damage? No, they're not. The Corsairs are still, I believe, on 1 0. No 2 0 on the way. Uh, I do believe you actually know you should just be able to get a 2-0, but not really worth it. But I think Drone may slowly be starving himself out by everything that's going on. Uh, that is very unfortunate. I hope my stream hasn't been lagging due to that firewall comment, but hopefully we're good. Uh, I mean, I'm not seeing any complaints in chat, so we should be good, hopefully. Uh, we see the Mutalists still running around. They are on two Carapace now, though. Scourge with the two Carapace, of course, as well. That does give them plus two armor for both. Uh, we see the Corsairs now chasing down the Mutalists. There's no Scourge here. They're so clumped up. Is DeWalt going to be able to kill anything? No, he's not. The Mutalists do pull back, but they're so heavily bruised. He's not going to be able to move in and do any damage. The Corsairs, of course, still on full health. And here comes the counterattack. How much does Drone realistically have to defend? The Mutalists are going to die so quickly. He cannot afford to be taking too many, too much damage. This is Drone's army right here. Is the Mutalists. The, the Corsairs are going to be able to clean everything up. Is there enough to defend against the, uh, against the Zealots? There's only one Sunken and two Hydralisks and two Mulisks. Another two do come in from the main, but this counterattack could do so much. It looks like the Corsairs still not cleaned up, killing all of the Mulisks right now. Another one does go down. It's two versus two, but these are clumped. They're going to be taking the splash damage, and it looks like DeWalt may have broken his way through. Actually, with three Speed Zealots in the main, how many kills do they have? One two and I believe uh, one so that is four kills overall can he get the spire he's gonna try and focus it down there is mutilus defending the, uh, the zealots at the front have died but it looks like he won't get the spire he has done a lot of damage though and of course the wall is far well not that far but he was pretty far from a third base but with all the mutilus dying again unfortunately Drones economy is just in tatters, with only four drones, six drones, eight drones in his main. Drone is in a very, very bad situation. The two hatch mutilus style has not worked out well against this one gate, one base corsair still on a 1-0. Four corsairs do remain on the map. Drone is trying to be aggressive with his mutilus again, but I don't think there's enough. The first Templars are out. Storm, I don't believe, is research yet, and the Templar don't have enough for Storms anyway. Drone is just in an awful position right now. Another three Zealots actually go in, killing another few drones. Another five drones do go down in that engagement. Looks like he's going to try and uh, drill to actually save this Nexus. They're doing so much damage. They're on plus one attack. Can he get the hatchery? It doesn't look like he will. He's trying his best. These Zealots punching away the best they can. They're going to weaken this to the point where he can send another unit. And here we go, here's that extra zealot trying to come in, finish what his buddy did before. I don't think it's going to work for him though. That's a lot of work for this one zealot to have to do. And the probe's now transferring up to the third base. DeWalt has a lot of probes. One thing he has done uh, well this game is actually continuous to be making probes, but he is now mined out of his main. But if Drone can actually secure this base and secure a fourth base, then he should be in an okay scenario. Uh, I mean, these probes are actually a little bit confused at where they actually want to go. Looks like Drone is switching into more Hydralis now. Is he going to go for some kind of bust? There is only two cannons at the front, but there is this uh, these two Archons and the High Templar, and they're going to be enough to realistically hold on, but what does he have defending his third base? Only three cannons. Is he going to be able to get in and do the damage he needs to do to come back into this game? It looks like the Mulists are going to try and play in. They're going to find out that he can't really do too much damage there. Interestingly, Drone going in from the top angle will allow him to take out these cannons. But here we go. He needs to focus down the Corsairs quickly. All of this Mulists are so low on health once again. Do the Corsairs go down? There's still three Corsairs remain. Three Mulists, three Corsairs. The Hydralists are there. The probes have been pulled. 
Looks like a counter-attack is the order of the day for the wall, but is it going to be enough? The probes are all dying at the third base. Some are pulling away, but these five Hydralisks are going to even be able to take down or, uh, take down the Nexus, but no, it looks like he will go in for the attack. Storms do go down on some of these units at the back. There's two Archons at the front. Four kills, five kills. Uh, another Storm goes down. That's actually a wasted Storm, I'd say. Another Templar does storm the drones. And I believe Drone will not have enough at home to defend. He lost all his units, it looks like, in the top of the map to the Zealots. Uh, only killing probes, really. Drones have actually been pulled to fight off against Archons. So a little bit of micro there. Not going to be enough to save him. Wow. I think a drone actually killed an Archon. But there we go. There is an Archon once again on six kills. Another three Zealots coming in. Another eight Zealots coming to his front. He has no units to defend. He has the three Hydralisks. And GG. Drone loses in the second game of the series, which will put DeWalt 2-0 up in this grand final. Let's quickly bring up that while I uh, bring that on. Yep, the next game will be on a fantasy. Ooh. Just taking a second to uh, relax my voice. We are in the next game. We're just waiting for Drone to join. Then I will take us back to the normal menu, which we'll do now. Looks like both players are nearly ready. <laughs> oh no, Drone looks like he's a bit worried. The TT is out. Yeah, this is going to lead us into the third and possibly final game, and we are in the same spot once again on Fantasy 2. We have RM Zewalt in the 9 o'clock position, and up in the top middle, at the top left even, we do have Liquid Drone, who does find himself 2-0 down in this series, looking to claw his way back in. Can he do it? Will DeWalt falter? Will DeWalt make enough mistakes to allow Drone back into this game? Drone has been playing well, but DeWalt has just, um, had just uh, unfortunately for Drone, been playing better. Now, DeWalt is a very good Protoss player. Uh, Drone, of course, is a very good Zerg, and, well, he's a very good random player as well, so... This is still all to play for. There may only, it may be match point, but Drone still has... Plenty of games to come back into this series, and some very interesting maps to do it on. Now, what maps, or sorry, what strategy are we going to see Drone employ on this map? What are we going to see DeWalt doing? DeWalt once again going for the in base pylon. DeWalt very, very much uh, happy to do this one base play against Drone, of course. It does put the Zerg on a more defensive stance than they may be normally used to taking. It completely changes the dynamic of the matchup. No longer is Protoss hiding behind their wall with lots of cannons. They are the ones putting on the pressure. They are the ones leading the uh, momentum in the game. Now, Drone looks like he is going to go for an 11 hatch. Now, earlier on, Cadenzi did confirm to me the reason why you do that is you actually get the links out ever so slightly faster because you do get a quicker spawning pool. But unfortunately for Drone, and <laughs> the Waltz going clockwise again will find him straight away. And given the fact he is going for this one base play, we may even see the same build as last game. Uh, we do see the Assimilator coming up off of one gate. And this probe will see absolutely everything it needs to see 
Looks like we do see the spawning pool has now come up. I think that was actually a little bit later than Drone would normally want. But it should be okay. Uh, he needs to be careful. He needs to scout this base if he can. The Overlord is going in incredibly slowly, so it's going to be a while before he can actually scout. But DeWalt is on one base. And I do notice we are up to 275 viewers, so thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Uh, this is of course the Clash for Char, the tournament that I've been running now for nine nine weeks, or over nine weeks, but we've had nine editions. I usually cast for sale, but unfortunately he is doing IRL stuff day, taking a break. Uh, we see a drone is moving out to actually help scout, because he can't tell for sure exactly what DeWalt is going to be doing. The first seller is on the way. Oh no! Oh dear, I pressed the wrong numpad button, and that actually put the back shortly overly on. I'm so sorry guys. Thankfully you've not missed too much. Uh, there wasn't really too much going on. I cannot believe I didn't notice that. I need to make sure I turn off my numpad. I just turned it to radio cast. That was... whoops, I'm so glad someone pointed it out. The drones have actually been pulled to try and defend against this first Zealot. The Zealot hasn't got any kills, but it has of course interrupted the mining of Drone. Now Drone does know, I believe now, that DeWalt is on one base. He is going up to Stargate again. Looks like Drone actually opted to send a third, or send a drone scout down here. Is he going to try and take this base? Uh, this is a very weird main. Uh, it is one of the more classic main uh, styles where you have the fully straight minerals, of course. Uh, very similar to all the other bases, but is Drone going to hide a base? He has his third hatchery coming up. He has his hydralis den coming up, so he's not going to struggle as much. Uh, yeah, as much of the Stargate. We see the robotics facility coming up as well, so very similar build coming out from DeWalt. Uh, DeWalt obviously this time going for a earlier shuttle like he did game one. Now, what is this What is this drone doing down here? I'm really interested by this, this drone positioning. I can only imagine he's going to try and hide a base in one of the other mains. This does have a very, very long situation. Uh, going on. That's that's cool. Uh, hopefully my my screen should all be back to normal. Uh, hopefully it'll catch up. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're all my listeners, guys. I, d it, I can't believe that I uh, didn't notice that, but we do see a Corsair moving in. There's no actual Hydralis yet, so this Corsair could do some damage to the Overlords. One Overlord is already down. A uh, one Hydralis scout now, but that's not really going to be enough to repel this Corsair. Uh, as a matter of fact, it may do. Uh, the Overlord's moving as quick as it can. We do see some hidden lings over at this doodad. And this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, so... There we go. We see we see this one Hydra that's doing his best. Drone actually droning up rather than building a little Hydra. Uh, just wanting to make sure he can do as get as many drones as he can, realizing that he didn't build enough last game, is overdoing it this game, I think. The, the links can't actually get in here. Do we see... Uh, do we see a support bay? Yes, we do. There is going to be Reavers. Uh, the three Corsairs, I think they're actually up to four kills together, all together. Wow, they may actually get even more. Another Overlord will go down. This will put them on four kills, so three kills right now. Drone is playing once again from the back for his anti-Corsair defense has just not been there this game. But look at this, guys. Look at this. I'm going to zoom in on this because this is so cool. Drone is hidinglings. He sees the he sees the shuttle leaving the base as well. Wow. Looks like a, this is a really clever move by DeWalt. It looks like he's actually going to take this island. Is he going to do that? That would be so cool. It's going to be very hard or drone to actually attack this, and it will give him a third gas, or at least a second gas. The uh, Corsair does actually come down to clean up this Overlord too, so yet another Overlord will go down. And I, I feel sorry for Drone's Overlords this game, they have not been in a very good position at all. Looks like this, he must be up to about six Corsairs now, the one that did, or had more kills. Hey, uh, yeah, three kills on that one. 
the shuttle is moving in. This should have a reaver in as well. Oh, we see the we see the defense. So we see the defense. Is he going to be able to snipe the shuttle as it comes in? If the shuttle goes in in this angle, the shuttle is going to go down. But no, he does pull back. The Corsairs are just looking for what they can. Another bunch of Hydras actually moving out onto the map. Gonna find the Corsairs. Gonna try and intercept them. Is he gonna be able to stop them killing any more Overlords? It looks like the Reaver has actually come all the way back. These Lings are actually stuck. The Lings can't do anything. This course, this cannon's gonna finish. And there's like he can't unburrow. That is very, very unfortunate for him. Oh my god! He could get the Reaver! Unburrow and get the Reaver! Can you do it, Drone? You need to do it before the, f the cannon finishes! Oh my god! Whoa! What on earth? The, the Scarab went off immediately! That did nothing! Wow! Losing all of those links, not losing- well, not losing too much is the wall. Drone once again supply block, losing even more of his overlords. I mean, Drone is... Drone is behind. Like, especially given the fact he, he knows that DeWalt has this base. Of course, DeWalt's gonna find it hard to move probes over here. He's actually gonna elevate them over with his shuttle, I believe. Uh, but he does need his shuttle, of course, for his Reaver too. Looks like uh, Hydras do actually catch the Corsairs once again. Corsair count is slowly moving down. So that will work in Drone's favor. And look at Drone taking this other main as his third base. This is gonna be... it's gonna be a long time before DeWalt actually scouts this base, I would believe. He's lost most of his Corsairs. Drone actually moving into position to snipe the shuttle. As it comes in, he burrows once again. Drone, with the burrow tactics, is going to find his way in to a nice defense, I believe. The Corsairs moving out, not going to really see too much. He's going to try and sacrifice one, just to see where the defense is, but he's going to see no Hydralisks. And this is going to be very confusing for him. Of course he does know Burrow is finished. Do we see an observatory? No observatory as of yet, unless it's at his natural. No, it isn't. So he won't have any idea that he does actually shuttle these over, so this is good for him. Looks like the first Corsair does move in back again. Try and see what it can see. Uh, we'll be a bit confused by the lack of units, but it looks like this, uh, this Hydra is on Burrow by accident. Maybe using that as a bait. Uh, the shuttle has finished ferrying probes. I believe that must be... No, he hasn't got a second shuttle yet. He is only on the one shuttle. And DeWalt, look at this. He's being so sensible. Actually opting to scout every other base on the map. Will this actually go down and see the third base win? Not, well, I'm not too sure right now. But the Hydralisks are now going to move out onto the map. There are quite a lot of Hydralisks here. This is a big Hydra train. He will be running into three, four cannons and two Reavers though. Is this going to work? I'm not too sure. The third base has been found. The element of surprise is gone. How is Drone going to react? It looks like Drone is pulling all of his Hydralisks over to his other base for some reason. I'm not sure if this is a misclick, but he really shouldn't be sending everything over here. These are so far out of the way. He doesn't actually have anything back defending anymore, I don't think. There is some Hydralisk here, but it's not really enough. And all of the Hydras move back. I'm not sure if he's scared of some kind of drop into that base. But a little bit of miss micro. It looks like some of the Hydras are actually completely stuck as well. There's, there's actually a choke where some of the Hydras are trying to get in and some are trying to get out. This is a bit unfortunate for Drone because he's like lost control of his army. Now, he's actually got most of his army now down in the bottom left corner. How long is it going to take before he realizes? Looks like he's not too worried. He's sending overlords for a drop. Looks like he finally does realize what's going on and stops that. Uh, actually burrowing a load of uh, hydras here. He has burrowed hydralisks at every single base. DeWalt is going to try and do what he can. He is still only on one gateway though. He does have his Templar archives ready. But his unit count is going to be increasingly small. The Queen's Nest is coming up for drone. The Spire is coming up for drone. Drone now on three hatcheries, going for this big, uh, sorry, four, that's actually, well, his lair was on a second hatchery, that's kind of interesting. Um, his army is going to be completely outclassed, the DT though, this DT is going to move over to the bottom right, there is no, oh, there is a spore, so he should be fine. And here we go, the drop has been activated, he needs to be careful of this reaver though, he needs to bait the reaver shots, but these two cannons are going to take an overlord out before it can drop anything! 
Can he snipe the Reaver? I'm not sure he can. This, dr this drop, I don't think it's going to do very much of anything. Such good drop defense by the Walt is going to force all these Overlords back. And now there is no anti-air in the bottom right. This DT, despite running up against the uh, up against the wall here, actually managed to kill four drones. And another Overlord is taken down. Drone just being outclassed in this series so far. Can Drone pull it back? Can he bring back the final? This is his match point. So if he loses this game, he will take second place in this tournament and DeWalt will be the winner this will be his either player's first Clash for Char win if they win of course this is number nine we've had a varied amount of winners previously the past four weeks have been won by Shiny uh, Shiny actually taking out Miso last week uh, for the final Drone is stabilizing though and once again DeWalt's gateway count is so low that it actually makes it very hard for him to put any counter pressure on he is now going up to seven gateways. His uh, his extra five, six gateways are finishing eight, nine gateways, uh, building up, of course, because he is on uh, is on um, three base now, of course, and he's actually adding his fourth base now as well. Uh, that the choice of picking the island is such an important decision in this game. Like this may have actually won DeWalt the game. Look how many cannons there are, it's so impossible for a Zerg player to do any form of drop there. The only thing you can realistically do to that base is go Guardians. We do see the Hive is finished. What is going to be the tech choice? I do not see a Defile Amount anywhere. The third gas is now coming up though. We do see Queens. Oh man, Drone with his Queens. He loves his Queens. We actually hear something being lifted up for a drop as well. I thought it was a Nidus Canal. I don't think there's a Nidus Canal anywhere, I've not seen it. Uh, but no tech choice yet, just the Queens. There is a lot of Hydralis actually out on the map. It uh, looks like two Scourge are going to go here just to try and defend against any any form of further dropping action from the Protoss player. Of course, this is a very droppable main. Just look how much airspace there is all the way around here. going to be very difficult for a drone to hold. And the Corsair count is still going up and up, and I can't kill, uh, can't click on one, but it is plus one. What are the upgrades like for Drone? Drone does like going for double upgrades. He is on one attack. That's it for those. There are some Queens. He's actually going into some Mutilus now as well. It, are we going to see the trigger pulled on a Great Aspire? I'm not sure. But both players kind of just sitting back now. Really not too sure. One scouting Hydralis does go down and this is going to force Drone's army which is incredibly out of position to try and race back to his own natural. Is he even going to get there in time? The uh, Templar have enough for four storms all together and there is two Reavers here as well. Now Drone is actually going for the counter attack of his own. Two very nice storms go down but it's not enough. Another Templar is sniped. Looks like it's going to force the Walt's army back. But of course, Drone is now stuck. Drone cannot evacuate his units from this position. Another nice storm goes down. Drone is trading pretty nice, but DeWalt is now 60 supply up. And all of the Hydralists that were out in the middle of the map have been quashed. And DeWalt does still have all of his tech units. The Reavers are picked back up. The Dragoons are still alive. He's on... Wow, he's actually up to, I believe, 12 gateways now. 12 gateways worth of production against a 3 base Zerg. Uh, Observer with the Lurker here is actually going to be able to take out all four of these. There is some Hydrisk in the back, but I don't think it's going to be enough. A really huge uh, Reaver drop actually goes down, being cleaned up by these Lurkers, actually. Uh, by these uh, Hydralists that were hidden. But it looks like Drone is trying to push his way back out of his base. He cannot. There is such a big... Protoss army at his front. Now what is Drone going to be doing? He has the two queens, they're not really able to do anything. He does like Ensnare. Uh, Drone is a very, very, very happy uh, queen user. He does use them for everything if he can. Uh, the Dragoons are actually look like they're going to be shuttled up into the main, uh, so that could be pretty good for him. But there is of course the Scourge here with the Mutalisks. But look at this, Drone in the meantime, while I've not been paying full attention to the rest of the map, uh, has actually tried to take this <laughs> this uh, base over here, but doesn't manage to scourge the... 
I mean, this is kind of funny because these uh, these zealots can actually kill everything, and we do see another another attack coming in for uh, Dewalt up into the top right. The base is cancelled at least, so he doesn't lose too much. And here's the queen. What is he going to do with this first queen? Is it in snare? No, it goes down before it can do anything. This queen, oh, he parasites something, but loses the queen. Not the best trades. Loses that hatchery as well. The drone is just so far behind, he's behind 100 supply. DeWalt now at 2 1 upgrades against only, uh, well, 2 0, but still no carapace, which is really weird for drone. And we see some more zealots going in, trying to do more and more damage. There's only one sunken colony defending this base. And I think DeWalt may be going for the kill here. He looks to be moving in for the throw of drone in this, in this third game of the finals. Killing the sunken, a DT even. Over here, the drone's actually pulled to fight the DT. Seven kills, eight kills. Can he get nine? No, he cannot. Oh, no. yes, he does. But that's not important because here is the last push by the wall, I believe. He's got so many units. The lurkers aren't even borrowed. Drone is so, uh, so taxed on his multitask. A huge storm does go down on the lurkers. It looks like we did see. Uh, see some um, use of the queens there, actually. I think he parasited three units, so that's why not parasite. Um, Rootling three units, so pretty good. I think he got all the Templar. Uh, good use by him, but there's just so many units coming out. The 13 gateways of DeWalt, who is now up to five bases. Well, at least he's adding his fifth base. Drone is losing his third. His, or his, uh, his base at the top is still not finished. DeWalt has such a huge bank. And Drone is now completely stuck on his two bases. Uh, this, of course, does count as a base, but it's not really mining. So there's not really too much you can do. One Templar actually got left behind over there. But unfortunate. And I think we've actually got an evacuation of the units from the bottom right base in these Overlords. Could be all the drones that were left. But here we go. A huge push into the front. A nice couple of storms do go down. Not many Hydralis left, there's so many units, and Snare goes down there, and Snare is pretty good against uh, against Dragoons who are trying to push into Lurkers. And this may allow Drone to actually push back out. There's actually five Guardians, I completely missed the switch to the Great Aspire. Somehow, the Hydralis are actually pushing back out, pulling the units back. Wow, uh, I don't think Velots are affected by Snare because they were just running really quickly. Wow, <laughs> look at this. The wall with the BM, actually cannon containing drone, who is now stuck on two base, uh, three base. Sorry, uh, the guardians are gonna find a lot of trouble against the three corsairs and the dragoons. Is there gonna be enough for drone to push out? The fifth base of the wall is finished. We're actually, adding a second rover. This is the perfect late game play. You go for more and more robo units if you can. Is there a Parasite? Yes, there we go. We do see the Parasite on the Corsair, so he at least will have vision of this. Now, DeWalt doing something very sensible, moving that out of the way. The drone or the probes are transferring over to the bottom right location. Looks like everything has finally been uh, cleaned up on this base. We see Queens just sort of moving around, trying to do what they can. And Drone, I believe, is trying to go for one last ditch attempt at an attack. There's just so many units from the Protoss player. Not a lot of them shoot up, but these two. 1-0 Corsairs will be enough against the 0-1 upgrades of the uh, of the Mutalisks. The Corsair does scout out that this base has once again been taken, and Drone is still very, very far behind. And uh, Drone, I think, is trying to process this loss. It's been not the best of series. He still can come back. It is very possible, but it's going to be very difficult. He's now mined out of his main. His natural can only be close to mined out as well. He's trying to, as a last ditch attempt, take this fourth base, which is only a mineral only. His gas will be depleting soon. He doesn't quite have his gas up here, but he's not been able to build enough, um, enough uh, drones up there to even do anything. Another ensnare goes down on the Corsairs. It's not going to be enough though. There's so few Hydros. He does have Defiler though. What can he do with the Defilers? Not too much. He can do a play. Wow, the Defiler actually getting stormed. Uh, very nearly screwing everything. But there is still seven Guardians though. Looks like the Defiler isn't quite sure what to do. It has full energy. It isn't doing anything. Loses the full energy Defiler to just moving it into units. 
very unfortunate. Oh dear, the stream has gone down. And GG. Uh, do you have stream back, guys? Right, okay. Okay, so I am going to quickly finish off that game from the replay. I don't want to end the finals on a network error. That would be increasingly unfortunate. Uh, we do see that as the fancy replay. Okay, let's bring up this part of the replay. I'm not sure how long into the game it was when everything went down. 21 minutes. Okay, so let's go to 21 minutes into the game. It was right by the end, but you know what? Just for good measure, we're going to go back here. Wait, hold on. I may not need to do this. Uh... I'm actually going to check the end of the stream. I don't know if the stream ended. Or if everything died before the end of the game. I'm just watching the end of the game myself. I was going to cast the uh, end of the replay, but looks like I don't need to. Some very nice storms went down on the units and GG was called by Drone, giving DeWalt the win of his first Clash with Char tournament. He did win. Wait, DeWalt reported a loss. Oh my, oh my god. I can't edit that either. That's kind of funny. Wait, what? Why can't I edit? It's too far over. It's because the tournament's over. That is really weird. Oh, I can, but it's just too far over. Let's try and zoom out. Okay, well that doesn't matter so much. Uh, that will bring us to the end of the stream. Um, Okay, so what I want to do quickly is I do want to do some very quick shout outs, of course, because it is the end of the stream and it's the end of the tournament today. So, uh, what I would like to say is thank you very much to all the players who signed up. We did have 29 plucky warriors who did sign up today to try and win this Clash of Char. Of course, DeWalt did make his way through to the finals. Uh, and did win the or the tournament overall. Drone did incredibly well as well. Uh, Babo not to be dismissed either. Same with Quantel. Uh, really good games today. I hope everyone enjoyed watching it. And uh, I would like to just say I hope all of the players sign up to Matarino pretty quickly so we can get the prize pool paid out. Uh, thank you, of course, to all of you wonderful people who did tune in. Uh, all of the people who support the tournament with donations and whatnot, and also anyone who subscribed and followed, it does mean a lot. So thank you very much for supporting the tournament. <laughs> Wrong maps, have to replay finals. Uh, yeah, and of course, thanks to... Uh, wait, I already said thanks to the players. And Anyway, I've got no extra caster to thank today, which is kind of funny. But yeah, um, yeah, just thank you everyone for tuning in, watching, playing and donating and everything. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I was uh, casting on my own again. So apparently it's 3am where Brongard is, so thank you very much for tuning in, man. Uh, sorry to keep you up so late on a Sunday night. And I will see you guys probably in about an hour or so, because I'm going to play some ladder or some practice games or whatever. I'll be back then. 
So thank you once again and see you guys next week. I'll just sort out the prize ball.